Hi everybody, I'm here with Jeff Bader with Micron and we're of course at CES 2020. Lots of exciting things going on, Jeff. And you guys have some uh, really great things you're rolling out. Tell us about it. Well, uh, we introduced one of the big products we introduced this uh, show is uh, the world's first DDR5 memory, which is the next generation of DDR, uh, DRAM memory that'll go into servers and compute platforms. It offers something like 85% performance improvement over the prior generation of DRAM. And uh, we're, it's our offering on what we call our 1Y mm -hmm. technology, which is uh, our third generation of 10 nanometer class DRAM technology. So it's a, quite a leadership product in the end. I mean, that is really significant in terms of the increase. Yeah, no, absolutely. And it's, and it's going to be critical for the, the growth of cloud computing, the continued growth of cloud computing, mm -hmm. and the continued growth of the capabilities that you're going to now be able to provide from those servers and that, that infrastructure. And so talk about what it means. What does it mean for companies and, and for the cloud, for everything? Well, exactly. I think it continues to enable the types of services we've all become dependent on. I right. mean, we don't even think about how many times a day we're going mm -mm. back to the cloud and taking stuff. Uh, and so that, that's one of the mega uh, trends that's been for the last several years. It's going to continue for the next several years. That is critical for 5G rollout as well. Mm -hmm. So we all, we've heard the 5G technology is rolling out. It's mainly we think about it in the mobile, mobile phone. There's a tremendous amount of infrastructure and a tremendous amount of, of server capability, enterprise capability is going to be needed to deliver the services that we're going to want to then consume with 5G. Right. Then so talk, Jeff, a little bit about, uh, a little more about 5G and how that, you know, the state where we are now, finally moving from hype to reality yes. and what that means with you guys. Well, yeah, so 5G is going to, uh, it's going to impact almost every application segment you can think about. Obviously, the mobile phone, again, is sort of the starting point of this. Uh, we would expect something in the neighborhood of 100 or several hundred million phones already this year uh, to begin deploying with 5G. There's, of course, all the networking and the, and the sort of infrastructure required to deliver mm -hmm. that. And then there are the, the applications that will emerge on top of that, right? You know, we talk about the industrial uh, Internet of Things or the Internet of Things. We talked about uh, automated driving. Uh, some of the Vita X technologies, so many new capabilities are, are sort of hinged on what 5G is going to provide from a, from a capability perspective. And, you know, when we talk about every year here at CES, it's, you know, things are going to be faster and lower latency. I mean, all of these yeah. improvements that we all have come, uh, we're used to now, to, or we expect now. So what is it that excites you this year of where you guys are and where Micron is going to in the future? Uh, I think that's the the uh, continued and really sort of maybe we're, we've reached the, again, past the hype point mm -hmm. of uh, the deployment of artificial intelligence and machine learning in, again, sort of almost every application. I, I'm personally responsible for the automotive industry uh, at Micron, and that's just a huge growth factor with all the growth of safety features and maybe someday future mm -hmm. autonomous driving features. Uh, and that's all hinged on incredible compute cap, you know, compute capability that's coming together mm -hmm. that's backed by a tremendous amount of memory bandwidth and memory performance and storage bandwidth performance. All right, Jeff Bader with uh, Micron, we certainly appreciate you talking with us today. We have much more to come from CES 2020.